Well, hello again. You might have seen some of my other videos, but this one I've I've been debating for a bit to actually do a video about basically next step from a one two five bike. So if you've just passed your license and you want a bigger bike, what to get and what to advise. Now I've been off my license for well, it's basically a year now. I've only got a week, and then it's actually a year. And I was in the same position just a year ago. Now, there's, there's plenty of choice out there, but if you're like my age, you're going to have to be on a restricted license. Sorry, I'm just looking if there's any cars coming. Um, but there is bikes out there like the Ninja 250 that are 33 horsepower off the back, so you don't have to do out to them. But to be honest, I don't know, if, if, if if you're a female, and say if you're a small or a female, not not being sexist as well, but um, they they are a good bike because the bloody light I have I've, I have held one or pushed one around, and they are nippy for what they are. But I just think they're too small. They, they look they just look like a miniature bike, and it's just, uh, not for me. And I'm not really a sports bike personally. Um. The next step up, if you don't really want to go for a 250, is basically what I've got here is 500s. What you've got piled, you've got the you've got the CB500, you've got the GS500. What I've got here, um, what else? You've got the, the older ones like the Ninja 500 or the the G was it G GPZ GPZ500. You got stuff like that. And they're around about in between 50, 60 horsepower. And there's people coming now. Right. Yeah. Right. But I um, 500. Um, but you have to get them restricted. What's around about? Well, last time I remember 180 quid off the bat. But they'll get you up to 90, and the bloody fast getting you up to 90 if they're restricted. And what, once your restrictions off, you don't have to go out and buy another bike if you want speed. You just take the restrictors out. This bike here, it's restricted. But it's it's got mods on, so when I do de restriction, I have I have played around with it without the restrictors in, and it's quick, right? But I number five, are you? Oh, aye. <laughs> but it is quick. Um, no, Dave, 125 mile an hour on the clock. So that's around about given the discrepancy of speed to about 110-115, what's more than enough on UK roads. But um, those are basically the two main choices. Um, one of my mates has got a 400 GSXR, what's a Japanese import. Yes, you can restrict them, but they're, they've got about 60 horsepower off the bat normally. So, it is. He's had a few problems with these. He's, he's busy doing a wiring loom on it, so I don't think they're worth the money. I mean, you only spend to 800 quid for it, but it's just a farce. And to be honest, you are having the guts out of them. The other option, but the one I dislike the most, is getting like a 600. Like, I've seen restrictor kits for an R6s. Now, if you're restricting a bike from like 120, 130 horsepower to 33 horsepower, that, even for me, that's I, I, I do have a lot of knowledge about engines, bikes, and how they run. That's just not good for an engine. It just you get it just clogs it up and to be honest nah, that's not the way to go and to be honest at my age you can be paying through the bloody nose for insurance I'm paying 750 quid for this now and that's only third party fire and theft theft that's my personal yeah. opinion there might be people out there you can debate it you can leave messages and stuff and debate what you think's the best bike out there for a restricted license holder and I'll take that into account might do another video about it but my personal choice overall, my conclusion to this video is 500cc twin, get restricted. You'll have many days of fun ride until you, you take your restrictors out. You take them out or go for a bigger bike. R6 or so, but don't be silly. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Um, happy ride to you all. I know the winter's coming, the autumn, so there's not going to be that many days left, but. Hopefully I'll see you soon and ta-ra! Now
Now I'm going to do a drive-by of this just to show you what a 500's like with a straight through system on and give you an idea of the sound and what you'll get for your money on a 500 and I've got a camera set up on the bike so you can see the speed and the acceleration and I'll try and match it in when I do it hopefully I've got enough battery on this camera and hopefully nobody will nick it so I'll be back in a sec, I'll just drive down and go through the drive-by So over and out.